Good morning, Willowbrook family. My name is Tanya Adams. I'm the Willowbrook Kids Assistant here at the Madison campus. Today, it is a pleasure to be with you in our daily devotions. We are in Isaiah 53. Isaiah 53 talks all about our suffering Savior. Now, those two words don't seem to mesh together really well because if we really think about the concept of a Savior or a hero in today's society, like books, TV, um, uh, movies, we would expect to see like a mighty conqueror that comes in on a white horse or like a strong warrior that swoops in, saves the day, and defeats all the enemies. Like that's what we'd expect. But if we know anything about God, we know that he doesn't always jive with our expectations. And a lot of times he asks us to do things that don't seem to make sense. In this passage of scripture, we see that Jesus is going to look like every other person, just like the ones that he came to save. In fact, the Bible says that his appearance will not be desired. It's not anything to be admired. Isaiah says that Jesus is also going to be despised and rejected. And our hero, he's going to suffer. He's going to be led like a lamb to the slaughter. And not only that, he's not even going to fight back. He's going to keep silent. And that just doesn't make sense. Like, that's not the way we would portray the hero if we were writing the story. You know, the Bible is full of examples of times where God doesn't seem to make sense. And he moves ways that are not expected. Like when he tells a virgin that she's going to have a baby. I mean, even Mary was like, how is this going to happen again? How can this be? Or telling Abraham to go to the mountain and sacrifice his son, the one that was promised him. Or out of all the people to choose from, little David, shepherd boy, it's going to be him. It's going to be him that goes and defeats that giant dude in the valley. Like, that doesn't make sense. But faith is all about obeying God even when things don't make sense. And in our life, God often moves in ways that are unexpected and asks us to do things that don't make sense. But do we limit the ways that God moves in our lives to only those that make sense to us? What could we possibly be missing out on if we do that? Thank God for our suffering Savior. And thank God that he came the way that he did and not the way everyone expected him to. And when God does that unexpected thing in our lives, let's trust that his wisdom is far greater than our own. Hey, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to study God's word with us. We'll see you tomorrow.